talk about stories that have all of us talking. Today we're joined by Barb Bartline, the People Pro, and Jeff Wagner is back with us. A new documentary series looks at the safety of youth football, and not everyone is pleased. Some people feel the kids between the ages of eight and nine years old are being pushed too hard. What are your thoughts on this? I don't think it's a question of pushing. I think it's bullying. I think these young children are bullied in a systematic way to engage in sports that are dangerous to them physically and mentally. Bullied by who? By the coaches and often condoned by the parents. In other words, being pushed by all the adults in their lives to be tougher, play harder. Um, I was very disturbed. Is this something new, would you say? I think it's gotten worse. I think there's always been an element of that in, ch in youth sports, but I think it's gotten much, much worse and much, much more competitive. Yeah, j just by way of background, what we're talking about is there's this new quote-unquote reality show. It's called Friday Night Tykes, and it features like these five Pop Warner like junior football teams. Kids are eight or nine years old out of San Antonio, Texas, and um, obviously the parents all view each one of these kids, they're going to go on, and they think they're going to be college players or pro players or whatever. The, the coaches are very aggressive. I guess, f first of all, I, I kind of wonder about this TV show. But beyond that, to me, this is a parent's thing. I mean, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting your kids involved in sports. And if your kids have great ability, I think super, help them maximize it. But I think the responsibility is the parents to make sure that it's a positive environment. And if you've got, you know, a mini Bobby Knight who's yelling at eight-year-old kids, mm -hmm. maybe mom and dad need to find another alternative. You know, I agree with that. And then, but my other question is, too, is, is how widespread is this? You're looking at a, a select group, almost like the... You know the the beauty contestants, yeah. the little kids, and and you look at the moms that are. <laughs> yeah, and it's a reality TV show, right. so you so know. So I wonder how up. much yeah. actually happens. How widespread is this? I think this is is an extreme example, and obviously they're doing it as Jeff points out for the reality TV show and to boost ratings. But I think often you see pieces of this, and perhaps a coach that's inappropriate and bullying the young kids. Um, I personally like some of the leagues that just support kids to ha get out there, have fun, have a good time, without so much emphasis on even who's winning and losing. Yeah, my brother has coached youth, youth soccer for my niece for like the better part of eight or nine years now with, with my nephew. And, you know, that, that's out in Pewaukee, and they, they do an absolutely great job. And, um, but I, I am sure that you can find coaches in any league, in any sport, yep. that again, they're, they're viewing themselves, hey, they're, they're the mini NBA guy, yep. and they're going to scream at yep. kids. Yep. And living right. the dream or something. Right, right. whatever that dream might be, yeah. yeah. All right, well, coming up next, we're revealing the view. Again, we're joined by Barr Bartline and Jeff Wagner. Today's viewer's <laughs> choice topic is marijuana safer? Is it safer or just as dangerous as alcohol? President Obama said, quote, I don't think it's more dangerous than alcohol. So what are your thoughts on this? Obviously a big debate going on as we're seeing what's happening in Colorado. They've made it legal there at least to buy. Yeah, I guess I see, I just don't think that's the right question. Is it safer or more dangerous? I, I think the question becomes, you know, is it in society's interest to, you know, take another sort of drug and then make it more accessible? I mean, I, I, I think you can make the argument that, you know, alcohol has all sorts of problems and it certainly does. Um, I'm not convinced at all that we make society better by encouraging multiple generations to become, you know, wake and bakes where you, know, you wake up, how much pot can I smoke and then go out and do a job. <laughs> yeah. Personally, personally, I think the decriminalization of marijuana is long, long overdue. I, I think the myths about marijuana have hurt our society more than the drug itself. In fact, m many teens would see that movie Reefer Madness and come to the conclusion that all drugs uh, were safe because it was so outrageous. Uh, we have prisons full of people in there for petty marijuana violations. No. Surely, Jeff, you no, don't feel... No, you're making that up. That's one of the big lies that are out there, that you have people that are spending lots of time in prison for small quantities of marijuana. You've got big-time marijuana traffickers that are in jail, but as a general rule, people don't go to prison for, you know, possessing one or two joints of marijuana. That just doesn't happen. Well, it, it, there's people in there, Jeff, for having an ounce or two ounces, and I still call that a petty amount. But the, but the point is, I don't think marijuana should be a Schedule One 
uh, drug. That puts it in the same league with heroin and ecstasy. It's ridiculous. Uh, one of my colleagues here at Channel 4 did point out that the two teams going to the Super Bowl both come from states with legalized marijuana. <laughs> yeah, right. and, we, and of course, we, we saw the interview that the guy did afterwards <laughs> with Aaron Andrews. Yeah, that, that's round. what I want to do. Uh, here. Lightning round time. <laughs> Would you want a 3D model of your unborn <laughs> child? Some expectant mothers are being offered a chance to hold their baby before it's even born. You can get a 3D okay. printed replica of the fetus. Oh, okay, well, we know who has to start this one off, Courtney. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, Courtney. That's creepy. Creepy. I, I thought I this was kind of file. disgusting, Courtney. Yep. I, you know what? I, I, I Wait till the baby's born. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there'll be a market for it. I don't know. I, but who would be the market? See, that's what I, I mean, I just don't, I mean, see, there's some stuff that you look at and you say, well, I wouldn't exactly buy it, but I can understand why maybe somebody would. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, don't I, don't I don't get this one I don't get this one either. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't have an opinion on it. I mean, I, I, all I remember is when our son uh, and my wife was carrying our son that we got to see an image right, the of ultrasound. him. Yeah. The ultrasound. Yeah. And that was pretty powerful and we enjoyed that and would watch it. Yeah, I, but I'm you're not, not going to tote around. No, you know, I, I'm right. not even that crazy to look at them as newborns. I, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get it. We only you're, had one. Oh, so, so you're <laughs> one of the ones that go, oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, what a really lovely baby. <laughs> 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 All right, the What's Hot discussion will continue online. Find that page at tmj4.com slash hot. Coming up,